<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hi, it's Erica, and I am so excited to tell you about what is going on in July. So first off, we are taking a week off from podcasting to attend the Born to Teach conference in Houston, Texas. Been talking about it for like the last month, and I am super excited. One, I've never been to Texas. Two, I cannot wait for our meet and greet booth to meet with so many of you. Um, looking forward to it. Latrice is going to be a fabulous host. We have talked a few times on our show and there are some heavy hitters at this conference that she has put together. So I am very proud of her. So you go girl. So there's that. Also our editor Derek who is married to my niece Jalisa are expecting their first baby. Her name is Grace and we are so excited for the arrival of our new family edition. So he's going to be taking a few weeks off to spend with his new baby. So that is also equally exciting. And it's summer and I am going to be also hitting the road and visiting child care centers all over the country. I'm coming out to either do workshops at people's programs, uh, be part of their strategic planning meetings, or heading off to present at some conferences. So guess what? Your center can also be on that list. So if you are planning a summer treat for your staff, if you're planning a back to school session in August, or you're part of a committee that is planning conferences for your state, let me know. I would love to connect with you. If you are a daily listener, you know how excited and passionate I am about the ECE field and all of you. I feel like it is our children, our parents, our teachers, our communities that really have us, you know, showing up every day. And I am going to keep doing it until my last breath. And that, I mean that literally, I love this field. I've been doing it 26 years. I am not going anywhere. I don't want anybody to give up on this field. I know it has been hard. I know that there are child care owners right now listening who are thinking about selling. I know that there are directors right now listening, thinking about leaving or teachers thinking about leaving. Don't do it. Really just don't do it. Reinvest in yourself and find the things that used to motivate you. Get back to that because these kids need us. These families need us. Uh, this industry needs us. You know, it is in a tizzy. Nobody knows this industry more than we do. So we have to be there to help guide it. What do I mean by that? I mean, like, let's get involved in advocacy. Let's let the legislators know what we need. Let's let the politicians know what we need and how we can help. Let's reach out to our local businesses and see how we can help them with providing child care for their employees. Let's help raise and motivate the next generation of educators because, yes, some folks have left the field. That doesn't mean that we can't grow new educators. We can. And the resources now are ridiculous between the TEACH program, the CDA programs, the money being funneled into education right now for early childhood is ridiculous. So if we don't connect with that and, and take care of that in some way that makes sense for our program, we, you're missing out. Also, you know, we have a lot of folks talking about, I, I see it all over Facebook. Oh, universal pre-K is taking all of our kids. Well, how about apply to be a universal pre-K program? If that's what keeps your doors open, then why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? Just do it, right? If they're going to, if they're going to fund children to come to your program and you're able to provide a high quality program, then do it. You'll be able to pay your teachers more. You'll have more money for supplies and the things you need. To me, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. Get involved. Yes. Yeah, so in, in July, we are going to be going out to conferences, going out to workshops. And also, I'm going to be a guest on several podcasts that I'm really excited about. One of them I've already been on 
ECE classroom and I'm going to share that on our channel here. I'm just waiting for Susie to give me the green light. Yeah, I'm going to be on several podcasts and I'll keep you updated on which ones I'm a guest on and I'll share them with all of you. So that's what's going on in July. I am super excited about that. We're also going to be announcing the winner of our $100 gift card from Lakeshore or I should say to Lakeshore Learning Center learning center oh my goodness lakeshore yeah learning centers learning store and uh so if you haven't already entered to be part of that contest text us in the text the show um, we've got about three or four more days before we announce the winner of that um and i hope it's you yep you yeah I'm talking to you so i hope it's you and so those are all the great things that are going on in july uh, remember, we are taking a one-week break. Um, we will not have any episodes airing on July 1st or 2nd or 4th or 5th. I do have a guest spot that will be released on July 3rd with Evangela, who has a book coming out. We'll, we'll be happy to share that information with you on that on that podcast. But the rest of that week, I'll be in Texas. So I know you're going to miss me, so you don't have to. So I'm going to be doing lives throughout that time that I'm in Texas, I'm going to be doing some stuff on our social media. So although you won't be able to find me on the podcast, hop on over. If you haven't already liked our Facebook page, hopped in our Facebook group and like our Instagram page, hop on all of those platforms. And we'll, uh, we're going to be uh, sharing everything from getting on the plane to getting off the plane to landing in Texas to the conference to uh, meet and greets to all the things. So you don't have to miss me too long, but uh, we are going to take a vacation that week. So lots of things going on in July. I also hope that you will reach out to me because again, I want to meet you in person. So um, get me to your program. Let's do it. All right. So that's it for today. Um, Not really quite an episode, more of an update, but that's okay. Remember, it is the small details that make a big impact in the success of your child care business. And as always, have a great day. And thank you so very much. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. (laughs)